Hi, I'm Greg from RV Haulers. We've got Nate and Joe behind us. And the purpose of this video is to show a little bit of a detail about the vertical fairings that are behind these Volvos on occasion. Um, these little, not little, these black extensions are designed to create a better airflow around the trailer, commercial trailer. Of course, with the miles that we tend to put on our RV haulers, the difference that these make is negligible. But what they do is they introduce some length to the RV hauler and the purpose of this video is to show our customer a couple options on how we may want to handle these but also let other folks out there who are perhaps building their own RV hauler just know what the impact is of these black extensions. So you can see the vortex generators and these black extensions that came from the factory on this Volvo. Um, this gray fairing that you see here is 16 inches to that outside edge so they come past the back of the sleeper quite a distance and then these fairing extensions add effectively another six and a half inches of length to the sleeper and we we took the lower ones off uh, because when we wanted when we craned this bed onto the truck we didn't want to have them here and also we have to do a little bit of trim on them now here's the issue is from the factory these are installed with some double-sided sticky tape really good stuff and we heat it carefully and we peel them off but you can see that the plastic sitting on here creates a rub mark over time and we're able to get quite a bit of it out with some careful polishing and Nate will show that in a moment how it works but what does happen is some of the back edge of this fairing just gets damaged over time. You can see that there's some other rub marks and some cracks and just there's some clips that are on here too and some you know a little bit of rust and there's even some rub marks that we just can't get out of here. So this rub mark has gone right through the clear coat through the paint down to the parent material. What I'll do is I'll have Nate bring in this fairing and we'll show you how far it comes back. So what we normally do is before we put these back on we need to create a careful arch in the plastic here and what it does is allows the bed to come into this space and the, the issue we have is that when the smart car gets winched up on the bed it has to clear the edge of this fairing. Now, the bed is designed to do that. We've got the room in here. Uh, here's our chalk. It's been sandblasted and painted and we're still gonna put the box liner on this yet, but I've lined it up where it goes. And what I've shown with the blue tape is this is the, let's call it the, the flex room or the wiggle room that we've got. When the car comes up here and you fold in the mirror, it comes pretty well to the outside edge of this chalk but you've only got if, if you forget to fold the mirror or if you load your car too far towards this fairing too close to the sleeper it's gonna take up this extra space and you're gonna rub the car so we have an alternative for you if you want to take that down mate um, what we're proposing to do is what we what we like to do is if you're really not you know if you really don't want to keep these black fairings because of the how they intrude on the smart car space what we would do is we would mask off the the edge to right here and we will um, put rock guard just on this little edge so we'll we'll mask it off we'll mask it off here and we'll spray the rock guard, the box liner material, the same as this stuff, on this black edge. And I think, you know, it. Uh, you know, we we have black up there anyways with the extensions, and if instead we replace it with a little vertical black strip instead, uh, it'll cover up the imperfections that are here. I think we're able to polish these out just fine. We don't have to bring the black around, and it gives us the space we need on the bed. So there's an idea for our customer. This RV hauler named Chief 
is getting to the last stage of his build. Joe and Nate, uh, you can see he's started to get assembled. We've got the airlines that still need to be terminated out back. We've got a um, dash camera that's going to be installed and a GPS that's going to be put on. We've got our private RV not for hire decals or decals as we say in Canada that we'll put right there. We're kind of looking at, we've got two colors that would go good. I think um, we've got a, a gray blue and a darker gray and we're we're gonna put them up and see which ones. I think the darker gray is gonna look a little bit better on here. But we're getting to the end. We're getting to the point where the next step here is we're gonna be hooking up a trailer to this RV hauler, taking them for quite a few hours, making sure that everything works from the hitch through to the brake controller and that the truck is performing well. I'm Greg from RV Haulers. If you have any questions about the RV Hauler custom builds that we make, um, here's our website on the screen with all of our contact information on the website. Thanks for watching.